Hey everyone, welcome back to Dev Parkour. If you've been following along with the channel, you'll know that the last time I did a video like this, uh, it was a couple days ago, I was trying to get email working with Glassminnow, uh, which is the, the PHP app that I've been taking from uh, legacy code status into cloud native territory. Um, for, what, for a couple different reasons, I wasn't able to get it fully operational uh, with SendGrid. Um, off camera, I actually was able to, to get that piece working, um, but for a few different reasons, uh, some of which I'll explain a little bit later in the video, I actually decided that uh, I wanted to go about this a little bit different way. Um, and one of the, the nice things about that is it actually gives me an opportunity to share this video with you uh, where we will install NoMailer, which is a kind of an, an SMTP server uh, drop-in replacement for, for Linux um, and get that working with the native PHP mail function. Um, in SMTP server land, um, you might hear the terms uh, postfix and exim. Uh, those are the common uh, mail servers in, in the Linux world right now. Um, prior to that, there was a program called SendMail, uh, and PHP's mail function actually expects this SendMail program uh, to exist. Uh, for historical reasons, uh, both, both Postfix and Exim, and NoMailer as well, uh, provide a, uh, a command called SendMail. Um, that invokes the appropriate functionality in, in their respective implementations. So we're going to use NoMailer. It is not a full SMTP server, not a full mail so server. Uh, all it does is uh, kind of hand off the, the sending of the mail to actual mail delivery infrastructure like uh, Google, like Gmail. So in this video, we're going to use NoMailer. We're going to use Gmail. Uh, actually, in my case, it's Google Workspaces, but the, the the same steps apply whether you're using a personal Gmail account or a, a Google Workspace account. Um, so let's get started. So first things first, uh, you're going to want to go to Gmail or re realistically any any uh, uh, Google Workspace uh, app. But uh, if, if you're using a, a personal Gmail, it's easiest just to go to Gmail. And then click up here to your Google account, and then click this Manage Your Google Account button. That'll bring you to a page like this. And if you go down to Security, you'll see Signing Into Google. Um, I highly recommend that you have two-step verification on. This is just a, a good security best practice. Um, if you don't have two-step verification on, uh, this process is a little bit easier, but com much less secure. So I recommend you enable uh, two-step verification if you're not already using that. And then you'll want to create an app password. You can see I've already created one here. Um, and uh, give me just a second while I authenticate. All right. So you can see I've already created a password for Glassminnow dev server. Uh, and for security reasons, once you've created them, you can't get them back. You can't go to this page and, and get them back. So I actually have it saved in a, in a good location that'll help me um, set everything up. So in order to create this, what I did was I uh, selected the app. In this case, you'll want to select mail. And then under select device, because I'm, I'm using a Linux server, I clicked other and then uh, gave it a name. Um, yeah, I think that that's probably the most appropriate for for this this exercise. Uh, none of the other devices really may, make sense. And then you click generate, and it'll give you it's a it's a sixteen character password, um, and you'll want to copy that, save it in a safe place uh, because we'll need it a little bit later. The second thing you'll need to do, and I believe this is only the case for um, Google Workspaces is you'll want to go to uh, the admin console, admin.google.com, and uh, go to apps, expand Google Workspace, go to Gmail, and then down under end user access, uh, you'll, you'll click that, and you'll want to see, see what the setting is for allow 
per user outbound gateways. Let me zoom in on that. So allow per user outbound gateways. That's this setting right here. And uh, if you read the description, it says allow users to send mail through an external SMTP server when configuring a from address hosted outside your email domain. Um, what I understand this to mean is, let's say, well, I'll use my email address as an example. Bparks at brianparks.me. Uh, if I have that setting turned off, the only email address I can send mail from is bparks at brianparks.me. If I have that setting turned on, that allows me to send uh, email from, you know, let's say my app has a, has a particular um, uh, a particular domain or or username, you know, so I could send from glassminnow at brianparks.me, even though that email address doesn't exist, or I could send with a from address of uh, no no reply at glassminnow.com, even though I don't have anything, any mail set up for, for glassminnow.com. Um, and certainly this, this Google workspace doesn't know anything about glassminnow.com. Um, so that's what, what I believe that setting does. Um, I turned it on just so that we don't have any hiccups in this video. I, I may not have had to turn it on for everything I'm going to do here, but, but you know, better safe than sorry. Makes for a more interesting video that way. All right, so now we've got that all that set up. We're going to go over to um, our production web server and uh, log in. So it's it's a Linux server. Here you go, I'm logged in uh, as as root. Um, so if you're if you don't automatically log into your web server as root, of course make sure you preface uh, the relevant commands with sudo. Um, and I'm actually going to refer to my notes here because there are a few commands that I need to get right. Uh, so uh, whenever you're going to use apt-get, you should always do uh, uh, sudo apt-get update. Um, I did this earlier today just so that the video would go a little bit quicker. So uh, I'm actually just going to run apt-get install install null mailer and that's the only package we need now it does ask for a few um, a few questions uh, mail name of the system this what this machine is demo.glassminnow.com so I'm actually going to accept that um, realistically we're going to go through and change all this so I'm just going to accept the defaults um, because uh, that's not something I wanted to I wanted to type on 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 screen. Okay, apparently I'm running an out of date kernel, so I should consider rebooting. It's good to know. I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, we'll uh, we'll continue the installation. And it looks like it's done. It looks like it's installed. So it, it did a few things. Uh, installed no mailer and we're good to go. Now we do have to do some configuration on this because we need to tell null mailer what what mail infrastructure it should actually send um, all of its all of its information all of, all of its email through. So uh, let's uh, just uh, for ease of editing everything we're going to be editing is in this Etsy null mailer um, uh, directory and we're going to edit all three of these files so the first one is a uh, default domain uh, I'm going to use VI because that's where I'm most comfortable uh, glassminnow.com that seems perfectly reasonable for a default domain uh, admin address is empty um, so we're actually going to put my email address as the admin address and remotes. So obviously this was one of the one of the questions it asked me before and the default was mail.glassminnow.com. That's obviously wrong. Mail.glassminnow.com isn't isn't a thing. It doesn't exist. Um, so what we will use is SMTP 
and uh, I'll zoom in on this once I'm once I'm done typing this. SMTP.gmail.com. SMTP. The port is 465. Uh, auth login, and we need to provide a user. The user will be the um, the, the email address of the user that you created the app password for. So in my case, it's bparks at brianparks.me. Um, then we'll need to do dash dash pass. And then uh, off camera, in just a minute, I'll uh, replace that with, a, with the actual password. And then uh, dash dash SSL. Oh, I already have the dash dash there. Uh, so basically, this will tell it to use port, uh, port 465, uh, the SMTP protocol. It requires SSL, and then uh, use a username and password. So let's zoom in on that so you can see the full command. SMTP.gmail.com, SMTP, the port, auth login, user, pass, and SSL. So if you want a, a screenshot, this would be the the uh, the, the, the screen to, to take a screenshot of. Um, but that's that's the basic setup there. So give me just a second so I can copy the actual password into place. All right, so now we're back. Uh, we have everything configured. Uh, we can actually do a um, quick test. We might have to restart null mailer. I'm not entirely sure. Let's just do it just in case. System control. Restart no mailer. All right, looks good. Um, let's let's try this out. Echo test. Send mail. Been a while since I've used send mail, but I don't remember the dash v uh, parameter. So we'll 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 see if that's actually right. Um, and you'll notice that no mailer, like I said before, does actually provide that send mail command. So let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like it came through. So um, I mean, not not much of it. Um, because I, I don't think I had the format right, but maybe you can see that on camera. Um, but I got an email from, it got sent to me, uh, and it was sent from, from root, uh, and the email address was the admin address that we put in there, bparks at brianparks.me. So that's pretty cool. We've got that, got that up and running. Um, now, the next thing uh, that we want to do is obviously configure our application to use that. So I'm going to jump over to Visual Studio Code and let's, uh, apparently I disconnected from the Docker container. Um, here we go. Here's Glass Minnow. It's, it's firing up. Um, so you can see a couple changes I made. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger. So a couple changes I made. Uh, one, I actually commented out this whole send grid uh, thing, um, and I replaced it with native transport. Which, if you if we go to vendor, where is that vendor pales, action mailer source transports native transport, you can see it's just a wrapper around the PHP native mail function. So they've got that function there, specifies a two, a subject, a body, headers. Um, yeah, really pretty simple, straightforward, nothing terribly complicated going on here. Um, but what I actually want to do is uh, something a little bit something a little bit different here. So I actually want to uh, make it so that if I specify via a environment variable 
that uh, I want to use SendGrid as the transport, then we set the transport to SendGrid. Otherwise, we set it as native transport. So what we're going to do is if get env, and let's call this um, mail, uh, mail service. Let's just call it mail service equals send grid. Then we'll use this code and let's uh, format and uncomment it real quick. Right, that all looks good. Uh, otherwise, we'll set the transport to native transport. And with that, uh, once we uh, commit and deploy this code, uh, mail, mail will work. Um, so if you haven't already, go check out demo.glassminnow.com. That site is live. And uh, you can sign up for an account and you should get an email and be able to activate your account now that we have all this set up. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that's, that's basically all there is to it. There's a little bit of configuration in on the Google side. And then it's basically just install null mailer and set that remote to be the, the Google, the Gmail uh, SMTP server with your authentication information. And that's it. There's really not much more to it. Um, if you have any questions about what I did, how I did it, why I did it, anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment down in the description below or in the comments section below. Um, be sure to subscribe, like this video, hit that notification bell. Uh, if you wanna support the channel, there are various ways to do that. I do have a Patreon page. Uh, you can also uh, sign up for uh, DigitalOcean or Linode using the links in the in the description box below. Um, that either way helps out the channel. Uh, share this video with friends, colleagues, you know anyone who who wants to set up a, a mail server on their on their PHP uh, web server. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.